and uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, they're uh, they're uh, need, Israelis are, are a unique breed. I need to see that's this. for sure. I need to see this. I need to see what because he always. I mean, I kind of feel that bad. he always. Dante, says, I mean, I don't want to sound racist, but are you black? Yeah, I'm black. Right. So I got a feeling that you may be a little disheartened by going to Israel. Um, I'm just saying. I mean, I know. I'm mean, looking at this guy, Nisim Black. Right. So Nisim Black went to Israel, and they wouldn't let his kid in the school. Because he was Why? black. Because he was black. Uh, uh, well, even Chabad today well, doesn't accept Ethiopian kids in the yeshivas, and no one talks about this. They sort of like brush it under the rug for different reasons. You know, I mean, one because they don't consider them Jewish, um, but they don't even say like if you convert, you could come in. Um, eh, it's not racism. It's there's a lot of xenophobia there, which means like the fear of the unknown. So. Um, I'm not. I would. I would call it racism. I would. Yeah, because okay. I, no. I experienced it as a black man. I just. I, I mean, I'm granted. More granted. familiar with it, right? But if you're used to it, I mean, no, I'm just preparing you. But I'm pretty sure you're used to it. You know, um, there's a lot of, like I said, in Judaism, if you look different, they're gonna treat you bad. Okay, and mm. not always. I would encourage you to stick more with Ashkenazim. People think. Because I'm Spanish. I mean, the same thing happens in the Spanish world. Spanish people think they're going to be accepted more by Sephardic Jews. Not true. Ashkenazim are more accepted if you look different than Sephardic people. Because if you're a Sephardi and you don't speak Hebrew, <laughs> you know, like, and you're not Israeli, they're extremely cliquish. Ashkenazim are more open and more Western-minded. So they were accept. And there's a reason that Nisi Black is Ashkenazi and not Sephardi. Okay? I there's a reason that Shine, you know, became Ashkenazi, not Sephardi. Uh, um, what's yes. his name? Studemeyer, whatever his name is. Ashkenazi, not Sephardi. People don't know that Sephardim are not, they're, they're kind of, eh, That's you weird. Know? I thought it would have been, that issue would have been less prevalent in Israel as opposed to no. America. No. That's weird. That's just weird. No, Ashkenazim are more open. Elliot, what do you think? I completely agree with you. Right. This is something that's not taught. <laughs> there you go. Pardon me? I'm saying that this is something that's not taught. No, it's not. Um, but here's the thing. I mean, I mean, the issue with the Ethiopians in Israel. Yeah, is it is it really a is it really a race? It's, I mean, I feel like it's 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 because don't the Ethiopians believe they're one of the lost twelve tribes, right? Yeah, well, that's how it started. I mean, it started because because he didn't have Torah Shabbat Peh. There's an issue like a Bamzerut that um if you can't properly like issue a divorce then all your kids are mamzerim essentially right and you can't remove the state it, or it's quite difficult to remove the status of a bastard in judaism which means you can't marry another jew it's got to be a convert yeah. or another right. so then i think it was ravavada yosef who either said they had to convert or they didn't have to convert so half of them converted and half of them didn't um or i don't know like the percentage of who like or not so because of that, now it's become racial because everyone's saying like, oh, like they're going, they're going. And also because they make up the like the lower echelon in Israel in terms of finance. Like I, I spent some time in Kirat Malachi and they're like all it's like an Ethiopian town. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not xenophobia. It's, it's more like the fear of the unknown. And, um, and then plus I'm American, too. So it's, that's like. Uh, no, that's not true. I mean, I think that'll help you more than if you were straight from Africa. 100%. Honestly, yeah. Oh, I've, yeah. I've, yeah, as opposed yeah. to Africa. Yeah. I yeah. have a few friends who are Jewish and black, and uh, they went to Israel, they went to Yeshiva. They, one of them studied in Yeshiva with me for the entire year. I thought being in Israel, what so are most people white skinned in Israel? Mm. No, there are more Sephardim in Israel. I'm Sephardim. I mean, nowadays we say Sparty for anyone who's not Ashkenazi. But it, it, there's more non-white people in Israel than white people, right? I mean, Ashkenazim more are the minority. Okay. Like in yeah. America, the Ashkenazim are like are the majority. Uh, but still, well, yeah, that's... like the, the majority, i.e., let's say Sparty for lack of a better term, are probably more racist than Ashkenazim are. Huh. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. And not to mention that the Ashkenazim at the beginning were racist towards the Spartan. This is why like Merkahana, you know, his like Kach, like his party, 
were made up of like disenfranchised party men because they were mistreated by the richer because the richer Jews in Israel like are Ashkenazi. I mean, it's kind of similar to America. Like with Spartan in America, like typically are like um, salesmen, you know, textiles. Like I guess blue collar, while like Ashkenazim are like lawyers, doctors, accountants. Yeah. So even in the Torah world, the more respected rabbis are typically Ashkenazi. There's a reason why Sephardic Jews wear black hats and black coats, and Ashkenazi Jews don't wear Arab robes. Okay, and with the exception of your Shalmis, but they're they're still Ashkenazi. Hmm. Um, it's because the Ashkenazim won the culture war, um, because and and they're the wealthier Jews, like in Israel. So I don't know. I mean, that's a yeah, I, I would just I would just like a Muslim, honestly. True. Oh, well, then you'll get shot. True. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, don't look at some sitting out dressed like a Muslim, <laughs> you know, in, like in Israel. I like the robes. Yeah, uh, I don't, you know, it's not that <laughs> friendly. It's it, now like Muslims. Yeah, there's still a problem there. That no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't wear it in Israel. I would wear it like if I would travel to Dubai or something like that. No, truth be told, that they saw a black guy dressed like a Muslim. I mean, they think I was Muslim. They no, I well, I mean, they won't think you're a terrorist. I mean, they'll just think that that you're like confused or something. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm just telling you. I, it, like, I've known like other black guys who who sort of appropriate every mystical thing. Like, there were a fez with a rope, and, and I'm not talking about black Hebrews dress, you know, dressed like Thundercats. They just like to dress. Up. I mean, you ever seen Django? Right? Okay, when Django got a, like a fresh pair of clothes, you know, I mean, he's like with a rope and all this stuff. I mean, you guys got drip, right? So that's like drip in the religious world. Okay, all right. All right, so they hear me. Somebody said, did Asher go too far? Come on, man. <laughs> hey, so, Rabbi Asher, how long you been doing this for? <laughs>